Number thirteen. The activity of amylase is measured in four parts of the alimentary canal. Which two parts have the most amylase activity? Okay. So, um, in alimentary canal, well, let's first talk about the alimentary canal. So, alimentary canal is the canal, or let's say, a, let's say a very big, very long tube. That starts from the mouth, and it makes up the esophagus and then stomach, and st small intestine, and then the large intestine, and the rectum and anus. Okay. So mouth, alimentary canal. Ah, not alimentary canal. My bad. Esophagus. Stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. So this, or these, all these organs are collectively called as alimentary canal. And in in the alimentary canal, there are a few parts um, where amylase or amylases are present. So, for instance, mouth and small intestine, especially the duodenum, which is the entrance of the small intestine. And that's it. So, mouth and duodenum is the answer for this one. The colon is another term to describe large intestine. To be more precise, um, it's a part of the large intestine, but in IGCSC, they often use colon to refer um, large intestine, so keep in mind that, okay? Or keep that in mind. Not keep in mind that. Yeah, keep that in mind. My bad. So stomach um, does not contain amylase. It contains pepsin, which is protease, that's the enzyme that breaks down the proteins. Amylase is an enzyme that breaks down the starch into maltose, or sometimes you can just say glucose. But strictly speaking, amylase enzyme um, breaks down starch into maltose, and then maltase breaks down the maltose into glucose. So that's the, um, the proper way of describing the starch digestion, but it's not actually 100% proper because starch doesn't get broken down by amylase alone. But in IGCSE, you guys don't have to know that. So, okay, so amylase is present in mouth and duodenum. In mouth and duodenum, which is the entrance of the small intestine. Um, and that's it. Okay, so the answer is C for this one.